AstraZeneca and we've seen no reports of increased clotting here at all. Maybe you're worried though and you've got a question about clotting and the vaccine, do text 88291. Do email vine at uk. Enclose your phone number please with your pointer. We can get back to you. Dr. Sarah Jarvis is here to answer all your questions. Hi Sarah. Hello. Let's go first if we can to Christina Patterson, journalist and broadcaster because you had your vaccine this morning, Christina. I, yes, I had it about half an hour ago. I feel like cracking open a bottle though. Apparently that's not a great idea. <laughs> did you when when you get it? I think I'm having mine at the weekend. When you get it, did, did they say you're having the Pfizer or the Oxford or whatever? Yes, they do. Well, I asked uh, as I was going in, and I was told it was the Oxford, which uh, works out very well for the program. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know whether I, I would not. I'd be grateful for anything, but I don't know whether there are people who are kick up when they go in if they've read a, you know, they've decided that they like like the Pfizer better or the Oxford better or whatever. Do you, but you weren't in a position, Christina, to do a the full, do you know who I am, number, I'm, <laughs> I'm presuming. Because I can't think of my But I did get people asking me my date of birth about 25 times, and I felt like to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, there's no option, I, I think I know the answer, there's no option of saying, oh, I'll hang on for the Pfizer, thanks. Uh, sadly not, although I'm delighted to get either, delighted to get either. And I did hear in the early days that lots of, uh, lots of older people said, oh, I don't want the nasty foreign one, well, I want the English one. I felt like saying, I'll, I'll swap with you. But, um, but both, both will, you know, are, are brilliant. Um, of course, it was slightly unfortunate that the day before I get mine, that five countries decide to discontinue it for safety reasons. But, you know, I think, I think they're wrong. And uh, it, it looks as though statistically... It's, there's probably no correlation, and but and I'm just thrilled to have it. But obviously the timing was not great. <laughs> well, you're in the same position of, uh, uh, as lots of us, um, Christina. So let's let's put Sarah Jarvis on to see if she can uh, make you feel even more comfortable about it. Sarah, great. I absolutely can make you feel more comfortable about it because, of course, while these are being looked into, what we need to bear in mind is that if you've got millions and millions of people having a drug or a vaccine or anything else, then things are going to happen to those people because people get ill whether they've had a vaccine or not. At the moment, the EMA, the European Medicines Agency, has come out and said there's no indication to stop the rollout that even if there is a problem, and they've said thus far that there is no indication that the blood clots are directly caused by it, that the rollout should continue. The World Health Organization has likewise said that it should continue. And the reason I think it's really important to remind you, remind people, um, that there is, you know, that, that we could have this number of people having, having clots and us going, but that's not any more than we expect. What we need to remember is that, for instance, if you have um, people who have had events that are seen after vaccination, and we call them O, and the number of events you'd see in a population who hadn't been vaccinated, we keep call them E, so that's observed and expected. If the ratio of the two is the same, then although they are happening to people who are vaccinated, they're happening at exactly the same rate to people who haven't been vaccinated. And overall, across the country, even with the number of cases we've seen, uh, across the EMA, where they've seen about 30 cases among about five, six million doses, that's about one in 200,000 people. To put that into perspective, what we don't know is whether some of these people were in the early stages of having COVID and didn't know it yet. And for instance, people who were ill enough to be admitted to hospital with COVID uh, from the data that we got actually last year from China, one in three of them, not one in 200,000, one in three of them had evidence of, of